Hello everyone! Happy New Year! Bonne année! So it's now 2020. I hope you all had a great 2019 and let's make 2020 an even better year. So yes, I'm alive. I'm back here on YouTube. It's been a while, hasn't it? Something big happened for me in 2019. I moved to Japan. That's right, I did it. That announcement video I did almost a year ago was not a lie. I have moved to Japan. I'm currently living here. I actually have been living here for the past six months, which is part of why I haven't been uploading, to be honest. I've just been so busy with my new job and getting adjusted to, you know, my new life living in a foreign country. <laughs> if you already follow my Instagram, you've probably seen what I've been up to these past six months. Even though I haven't been posting, I have been vlogging. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for a lot more Japan vlogs, both from the past six months and the present going on. I've decided that I'm finally coming back here on YouTube and what better way than to start off the new year with a new video and some fukubukuros or Japanese lucky bags. So if you don't know what a fukubukuro is, basically in Japan on New Year's, a lot of shops will put together this bag that they will put lots of items in and in theory, it's supposed to be worth a lot more than what you pay for. So for example, for clothing, the average fukubukuro is usually about ichiman en, which is about $100, but you're supposed to have more than $100 worth of clothes. Now, of course, everyone's taste is different, and sometimes some shops put things that didn't sell the previous season inside the bags, so it is possible to get unlucky <laughs> lucky bags, if that makes sense. Now, sometimes the bags are very different. Even if you get two bags of the same shop, you can get completely different items. And then sometimes, like this fukubukuro that I'm gonna open today, the shop makes special items just for the fukubukuro, so they're all the same, and they're like brand new exclusive items, which is really cool. And fukubukuros can range from anything to clothing, toys, pet goods, you name it. Or in this case, donuts. I'm not joking, that's the fukubukuro I'm going to open today. You may have noticed that I'm dressed up as a certain someone. <laughs> I am currently dressed up as Satoshi, or Ash Ketchum, as he's known in the United States. I grew up watching the French version of the anime, so I grew up with him being on a Sasha. 2019 was actually a big Satoshi year for me. I cosplayed Satoshi at an anime convention in the US that I went to before moving. It was a lot of fun. I also vlogged that, so let me know if you want me to upload that video and you want to see it. I actually made that cosplay, so I'm super proud of it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring it with me to Japan, but when Halloween came, I actually wanted to dress up as Satoshi, so I ended up buying this Satoshi costume. This is the one that I bought in Japan. I didn't have time to make my own again. As you can see, I'm kind of disappointed with the hat. Head's missing the logo, my cosplay version had the logo. This is the Halloween costume I wore for my school's Halloween party for work. Some of the kids unfortunately didn't know who I was, which makes me kind of sad, but it could also be because this is first generation Satoshi and obviously my kids are younger and only are more familiar with the newer generation of Satoshi. His look has evolved, even though his age hasn't. I digress. Yes, the main reason why I am dressed up as Satoshi today is because I will be opening this Pokemon Fukubukuro. Now actually I shouldn't call it a Pokemon Fukubukuro because it's actually a donut Fukubukuro. Let me explain. The Pokemon Center does release Fukubukuros and apparently they're awesome. I really want to get my hands on one. But this year I wasn't able to because they started doing this lottery system and it was online. It was kind of a hassle so I didn't try. Maybe next year. But there's this donut company here in Japan called Mr. Donut and the Fukubukuros are always awesome they're always worth it so if you're in japan around fukubukuro season definitely get this bag so this is the mr donuts pokemon fukubukuro 2020 here on the bag it says misto pokemon i'm not sure why misto but this is what the packaging looks like look how cute that is got a little score bunny Groki, sobo and of course pikachu and they're all super chubby and there's like some donuts even the sides look at the sides that's like a detail that could easily be forgotten but like, look, it's filled with cute donuts. <laughs> it's so cute, I love this bag. So usually Mr. Donuts does collaborations with their Fukubukuros, and this year they're doing a collaboration with obviously Pokemon in honor of the new Pokemon game that just released, Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'll be honest, <laughs> I don't actually play any of the mainline Pokemon games. Uh, I do have a Switch, but I only like Pokemon because I grew up watching the anime, so I mostly like it for nostalgia and because they're just super cute. <laughs> 
so I don't actually play any of the games except Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. That was a good game. So because Pokemon Sword and Shield just came out in Japan, a lot of different places had a lot of promotions going on for the new game, such as Mr. Donuts. I think it might still be going on. They're selling like Pikachu donuts, Pokeball donuts, and even like drinks based off the new starters. I didn't vlog it, but I was able to go and try one of the drinks. I think I got the Score Bunny drinks and then two of the Pikachu donuts. And then I also went to Free Coins, which is a 300 yen shop. And then they were also having a collaboration with Pokemon based on on the new games with the new starters. Oh, I should also explain something because if you have been following me on Instagram, you might know that I was not in Japan this two years. So you might be wondering, how did I manage to get some lucky bags? Well, let me tell you, I honestly did not think I would be able to get any this year. And yet I think I have like quite a lot, <laughs> probably a lot more than I should have bought to be honest. <laughs> okay, so this one, the Mr. Donuts one, actually came out a little bit before New Year's. It came out December 26th, I wanna say, but I left for France December 21st. Yes, I went back to France for the winter holidays to see my family, so I still missed out on it. But I went back to Mr. Donuts just a few days ago and they still had some. So if you're in Japan right now, you might still be able to find a few. Because I wasn't sure if they would have any left, I actually asked one of my co-workers to pick one up for me and she was kind enough to do so. So big shout out to her. Thank you so much, Atsumi. There actually were three different types that you could get. This one is the second one, which was 2,200. One of the reasons why I love Fukubukuro's is because of the whole mystery aspect. Like you don't know what's inside, you don't know what you're getting. A lot of lucky bags in Japan, you don't know what you're getting. But some shops actually tell you in advance what is guaranteed inside. Sometimes they tell you everything that's in the bag and sometimes they like just tell you like one or two items that you're guaranteed and the rest is a mystery. So this bag is kind of one of those hybrids in the sense that I know what items are in here, I know what I'm getting, but some of the items have different design variations, so I don't know which designs I got. Anyway, I've been talking for way too long. I don't know about you, but I can't wait. So let's open this Pokemon Mr. Donuts Lucky Bag. Okay, so here is what the inside looks like. Doesn't seem very interesting at first glance. That's because everything is in this bag. Ah, before I forget, this is very important. Stapled inside this bag is this coupon. Focus. So this is a redeemable card that basically lets me get 20 donuts from Mr. Donuts. I think they have to be like 160 yen or less. I paid 2,200 yen for this bag and I'm getting 20 donuts, which are worth more than 100 yen each. So I basically got my bag's value back right away with this card. Do I need 20 donuts from Mr. Donuts? Absolutely not, but this is why the Mr. Donuts Fukubukuro is so good because you're basically just paying for the donuts and then all the rest of the items are basically just freebies. I believe they're valid until May 31st. So May 31st, 2020, and yeah, you can get any donuts that are 160 yen or less. And what's nice about it too is that you don't have to use up the card all at once. Oh, and if you were curious, the number of donuts corresponds to each bag. So for example, the 1,000 yen one was 10 donuts, the 3,000 one had 30 donuts. What was funny was when my coworker got me the bag, she told me she ended up choosing this one over the 3,000 yen one because she said that she thought 30 donuts was too much. I think she's right. <laughs> I do not need to eat 20 donuts all by myself. So if you're one of my friends here in Japan, hit me up and I'll get you a donut. <laughs> so here is what the bag inside looks like. I already know what item this is. I think I can tell what design I got. Let's open it. So excited. So I mean, I already know what to expect in here, but let me just grab randomly. Oh, what's this? Oh yeah, this is the washi tape. All right, let me open this so we can get a better view. I can't remember what the other design looked like, but I like this design, it's super cute. It has the original starters, Pikachu, and then of course, the new starters. I guess because the colors are very saturated, but I don't really like how that Bulbasaur looks. It'll be really useful for like sealing letters or if I want to do like some scrapbooking or something. I don't know, I'll find some use for it. Let's see what's next. Oh, I believe this is, yes, this is the tote bag. Oh yes, I think I got the design I wanted. Oh, it's super cute. This is just a really cute, reusable Pokemon tote bag. Once again, it has the original starters, 
and the new ones. They're all a little chubby. I love this design. Here's a close-up look. Look at this Pikachu on a donut train. Focus. If I were to get Pokemon Sword and Shield and choose one, I would definitely choose Score Bunny, only because he's the cutest. I think it's the same design on both sides. Yes, yes it is. And it's quite big. Like, a lot of times in Lucky Bags, they give you a really tiny tote bag that you can't really use for much. But this one actually is like a really decent size. And in Japan, tote bags are really handy to have because I don't have a car. So whenever I go out shopping or get groceries, it's good to have these kinds of bags to carry what I buy. And something that's really cool is that it comes with this pouch. I can fold it up like this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure there's like a better, neater way to do this, but that's really handy. And voila, a reusable tote bag. Okay, I know what this is. I'm gonna save this for last. Let me get the calendar out. So all the bags come with a calendar. Here is what it looks like. They all come with the same design. And of course, this year, they're highlighting the new starters. So it's like a wall calendar. And it has two months on one page. Like it has like little designs of Pokemon with donuts. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. So I won't show you all the months, but you get the idea. So cute. Oh, there's Score Bunny. And Pikachu. And a Pokeball donut. <laughs> I wish they had like something here. But I guess like you're supposed to just rip these pages. And then there's a hole in the back, so you can just hang it up on the wall. Ooh, let me try to find... Oh, The summer ones have little banners for festivals. I want to see my birth month. I wish it was Pikachu and Score Bunny, but Grokey's on my birth month. Oh, I just realized there's like little silhouettes of Pokemons on the actual months. Oh, I wish the December one had like snow. Oh, there it does! It does! It has a little snowman Pikachu! Yay, I'm so happy. And I don't know if you can tell, but these donuts with the Pokemon, those are actual donuts you can get in Mr. Donuts. That's kind of cool. Okay, and the last item in this bag is, let me open this. <gasps> it's super soft. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Not gonna lie, this is what I was the most excited for. Can you already tell what this is? It's a blanket. <laughs> Could never have enough blankets. Oh my god, here is the design. Can you see it? Does it come up on the screen? I can't tell. Oh my god, look at it. Look how cute it is. So I'll be honest, this actually was not the design I wanted. I wanted the other one. But you know what? I'll take it. This is still super cute and adorable. I think the only reason I don't like it as much is again because of that Bulbasaur. It just looks so weird. Because it's like the color is too saturated. I don't know. But anyway, they're super cute. It's all the Pokemons. They're all dozing off on donuts. Not sure, because the one on this side looks more like a waffle than a donut. And then it has like the silhouettes of the Pokemons around it. It's so cute and it's so soft. I love blankets like these. So I think in the past years, their Fukubukuros have usually included a blanket. But this is the first time it comes with a little pouch like this. So it's kind of just like the tote bag in the sense that you can fold up the blanket and basically it should be able to fit in this pouch. Let me see if I can do it. I'm really bad at folding. Do I roll it? Oh! If you roll it, it's actually a lot easier. Oh wow, okay. Ta-da! This is really good for traveling because a lot of times I want to bring a small blanket with me when I travel because sometimes like in cars and airplanes it gets kind of cold and I don't really like <laughs> a lot of times the blankets that the airplane gives us. So yeah, this is really easy to carry around. And then you can also use it as a pillow. Oh my God, that's so smart. I love this. Okay, so let's quickly review. First off, I already got my money's worth with this 20 donuts redeemable coupon. This super cute Pokemon washi tape. Really cute tote bag. This 2020 calendar and this blanket, which is also honestly a decent size. I love it. Oh, and it also came in this really cute bag, which I don't want to throw away. I think the only things I'm missing from the 3000 yen Fukubukuro are a 2020 planner and some clear files. And in the 1000 bag, I think the tote bag and the tape are missing. So in all three of the bags, you're guaranteed the calendar and one of the two blankets. I love this bag and I can't wait to start using everything and <laughs> start eating some donuts. As always, Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this, especially future Fukubukuro unboxing videos. Because I got so many, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload one video every day for about roughly around a week. Each day I will be opening a brand new lucky bag, Fukubukuro. So stay tuned and I'll actually see you tomorrow for the next lucky bag. Au revoir. Ash does something like this, right? 
this is how I should have worn it on a video. Do I look cooler now? Yeah, that was, that's too much white. Oh well, I'm not refilming this video. <laughs> I wish I had a Pokeball to throw around, but my Pokeball's in the US. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs>